Hey guys, it's Kevin here coming at you with another TA vlog and today I wanted to discuss another very important topic and that is pollution due to tobacco related products and how they affect our environment. So not so before I start explaining any of the information and statistics I found during my research of this topic, I wanted to quote a very important statement that I found in this really cool website called True Initiative and that statement uh, states that tobacco use not only is a health issue, but it's also an environmental issue. And the reason why I'm bringing light to this um, quote is because I feel as though when we think about the negative effects of tobacco use, we usually um, associate them with how they negatively affect us as humans. For example, some of you guys may know that tobacco-related products may uh, can cause lung cancer, it can damage your lungs, and it can lead to a bunch of heart diseases. Um, and that is because billions of cigarettes, about 267 billion in 2015, are smoked each year in the United States. They are the most littered item in the country. So they compromise nearly 38% of all collected litter, making them the most prominently littered item in US, the U.S. and its roadways. Um, you know, it's kind of crazy to think that, you know, these such small things in large quantities can, you know, have a large negative impact on our environment. Um, not only do they negatively affect our environment, but they also affect our waters. For example, data in the Ocean Conservancy shows that 1,030,640 uh, cigarette butts were removed from the U.S. beaches and inland waterways and the annual International Coastal Cleanup, which is also known as the ICC, in 2016. This represents about 24% of the debris in the items collected and by far the most prevalent item found. So not only are they negatively affecting the inland, but they're also affecting the waterways and I will explain how they negatively affect the animals um, by toxic chemicals. So the toxic chemicals from the littered cigarette butts leach into the environment and end up scattered along green spaces, sidewalks, roadsides, beaches, waterway and waterways the toxic exposure can contaminate water and poison the fish it can also um, kill animals that eat the cigarette butts so it's you know it's crazy to think that not only are they affecting inland the waterways but also the animals they're killing these animals because some of the fish are being poisoned in the waters some of them are eating the cigarette butts and choking so those you know those toxic chemicals are affecting practically everything in our in our world and i'm bringing this up because you know as you guys may know a prevalent issue as is global warming and scientists are working very hard to find an issue and work on that issue and really we really don't want to add to this issue by pollution of tobacco related products um, so the next thing i want to talk about is about the toxic chemicals and how the facilities um contaminate um, the world. For example, 1,312,796 pounds of toxic chemicals were reported disposed of or otherwise released from tobacco facilities in one year. So not only are, you know, tobacco related products polluting our environment, but they're also where they're manufactured, they're also is releasing a large amount of pounds of toxic chemicals into our environment. In addition to cigarettes and cigarette and cigarette filters, Cigarette lighters, cigarette tips, t tobacco packages were removed from U.S. waterways during the ICC in 2015. So I personally have, ex you know, witnessed this because wh when I helped conduct a cigarette butt park cleanup here at a park called McKelvey Park here in Harlingen, Texas, we actually found around 250 um, cigarette butts and a few lighters and a few packaging. You know, it's crazy to see and sad to see that a lot of them were near play areas for children and parking lots. You know, there's so much and we didn't actually clean up the whole park. We just cleaned up a section of it. Um, and it's crazy to think that, you know, they're everywhere and they're harming the whole environment. So before I conclude this vlog, I wanted to give you three, two, three tips on how you can help um, end uh, this issue. For, for one, you can host a cigarette butt park cleanup. Uh, you can host this with your friends or with your coalition. Um, it's honestly, it's really fun. You get to hang out with your friends and also help the environment. You can also support a movement to end tobacco use. You can help, you can support Sex to Say What, or you can start a, um, a coalition in your area. And if, 
you know, you already have a coalition, you can interact with them and join. And that really helps to help end uh, tobacco, uh, tobacco related uh, pollution. So the third tip uh, I will recommend is help people quit. So eliminating cigarette litter for good also means helping smokers quit. So obviously if smokers aren't smoking, they're not littering their environment. So that's an obvious. So yeah, this concludes the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you guys the next time and take care.